Hey y'all. So I'm back making another video. Um, I'm making this while I have time, you know. <laughs> but um, this video is a message and just me expressing some thought. Um, so I'm titling this video Eyes to See and Checking Your Spiritual State. I'm going to title it something like that. But, um, blessed is he who have eyes to see, you know? And that scripture ties into the new age thinking of being woke. Because when you have eyes to see like Christ, to see this world for what it truly is, it's, it changes everything. When you come online spiritually and through Christ, because you can access the spiritual realm illegally. You can access the spiritual realm through a uh, false doctrine of the enemy, of Satan. Because you have to understand that Satan wanted to exalt himself above God, meaning that he wanted to be God and overthrow God. That's why he got kicked out of heaven. His pride came in because God created us and he didn't want to uh, worship us. He didn't want to, he didn't want to like us. He didn't want to, he, 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 he was despised and disgusted with us. So because he got kicked out of heaven because he wanted to be God, you know, God casted him out of heaven quick as lightning. And so his way of getting back at God is to uh, mess with us is to get us to believe something different other than uh, Jesus other than Yeshua other than Christ other than heaven other than hell he just believes something completely different than what's written in the Bible what God says he wants us to believe something totally different he wants us to believe a lie that's why he's the father of lies. That's why he's the great deceiver. You know, Satan already know he's defeated. Satan already know he's going into the lake of fire to hell. He already know he has eternal separation from God right around the corner. So while it's still time, a little time left, the clock is at 12.59 though. But while it's still a little time left, he want to deceive as many as he can so he can have as many as he can in hell with him as well as the fallen angels and the demons and everybody else who fell with him so what he likes to do is persuade you with seducing lies and doctrine so with you accessing the spiritual realm illegally you know through meditation and chakras and yoga and breathing techniques and uh tarot cards and stuff like that you know that stuff is a thrill for many people it, it was a thrill for me it was inviting it was intriguing it was interesting you know it was luring it was inviting and many people gravitate to it you know and you fall into a trap you fall into a snare and you have to have the strength and grace of God to come out of it. You have to really wake up then. Because what you already thinking you woke by incorporating that in your life. And then veganism. And then uh, just, just all this spiritual stuff that's out right now. And that's running rampant. You know, the witchcraft, burning the sage, listening to these so-called enlightened songs you know it forms a sense of pride self-righteousness all that within you selfishness all of that you know but i'm gonna make a separate video just speaking specifically about uh you know the new age and stuff like that but um back to the topic the title having eyes to see you know, when you follow Christ, when you pick up the cross, it's not easy. That's why, you know, following 
a lie is easier than following the truth because following the truth is hard. Christ said you will be persecuted for my name's sake. People will not like you. People will unfollow you. People will disagree with you. People will slander you. People will think you're crazy. People will do all type of things. People will mock you. People will mock God. Because so many have fallen so far away from God that they don't even believe anymore. And so you believe a lie. And, you know, a lot of people don't know that God can cause a strong delusion over you as well. Years and years and years and years of you not repenting, of you not coming to Christ, of you not believing the truth that you know is the truth. Then it's like, okay, well, keep believing those lies and that deception in. Like he said, um... I was reading in the Apocrypha, you know, like these people like that practice the Santeria and the uh, Ifa and all that, the African spirituality or the Hinduism, the Buddhism, people are praising and worshiping sticks, you know, stone, statues. So it's like God like, okay, well, look them your gods okay call on your gods when you in trouble call on your gods when some stuff really popping off call on your gods when that natural disaster is is happening you know and these people like to justify things and they like to say oh well that's kalia that's kalawa whatever that so-called um god is that deity is the, the god the goddess or something of destruction it's it's her doing it Oh, it's mother doing a cleanup. It's, it's this, it's that. It's everything but God. You know what I'm saying? And that's how the devil likes to get you. He likes to point the finger in all other directions except for Christ. You can follow any and everything, but don't follow Christ. Oh, Christ is white. Christ is, is a false God. Christ is just... One of the enlightened ones. It's just, it's no, man. No. When you when you really read scripture and you read it openly, like you really give scripture a chance. Because, you know, with that rebellion spirit, you 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 don't want to pick up the Bible. You don't want to read it. You you don't even want to try to understand. You just automatically you just like, man, nah. That ain't for me. It's religion. It's religious. People make things to be religion and religious. God is telling you truth. He's telling you what this life is about, what happened in the beginning, what's going to happen in the end, what happened in history, what happened in the past, what happened with your ancestors. Okay? All of that. Oh, uh, the Bible was used against us in slavery. It was beaten into us. Woo, woo, woo. God calls everything. God is behind everything. You got to understand God. You got to understand that black people, Hebrew people, Israelite people, we messed up. We disobeyed our God. We denied our God and so we got punished we started worshiping other gods he said um not to do the things of the gentile back in the day he said not to do uh the things of the heathen not to go and do the things of other nations so like as Hebrew people as black people as brown people as melanated people all these titles and labels y'all always want to throw around as the chosen people, you were supposed to be an example in the earth, in the world. But we forfeited that. Okay? Even in the wilderness with Moses, with Moses we complaining. We want to go back to our captivity in, G in, um, in Egypt. So you got to understand what you've done in this. And... I say you because we are descendants of our forefathers. We are descendants of our ancestors. And you have to understand bloodline and lineage and things like that. You know, things are still in the blood. 
we all have sinned christ said we all have filthy rags there is not one righteous not one god said it's not one that's why he sent his son down that's why he came down as the son to redeem us for that few a remnant a few that will listen, a few that will heed, a few that will repent and come back to God, the few that will turn from their wicked ways. God said as a in a, as a, one of the commandments, you should have no other gods uh, but me. You should have no other gods. For God is a jealous God. Because, I mean, you got to really think about it. God is the creator of all. He created everything. And you got the nerve to want to make your own god out of sticks and stones and worship that and for satanists you know you create different these different false gods out of your hands out of the the craftsmen and workmen shit of shift of your hands and you want to do all these rituals and chants to summon a, a spirit a demonic spirit at that into that which you're trying to worship and praise as God that can't breathe. Y'all got to get in y'all word because that apocrypha snap, dude. It, it snapped. And the word of God hit so crazy, man. It hit so crazy because it's like, dang, you cannot deny that it's truth. You know, that's why when people really come into full submission to God and surrender and really read and understand God, you be like, man, God, cold, man. But then you also understand that your father ain't playing. He's not playing. And he get down. He get down. He get down. He get down. Boy, he get down. And he gonna get down again. Watch. He getting down right now. It just, for some, for many, it just haven't hit your doorstep yet. It hasn't came for you yet. You know what I'm saying? But, um... It's, it's real out here, y'all. And, you know, sometimes it hurts to see the world in the state that it's in. You know, the Lord said you haven't truly, you haven't truly been filled with the Spirit of God if you don't grieve for one another. If you don't grieve for this world. If you don't grieve for those that are blinded and can't see. You know, and it's it's so for real because when you just go out in the world and you see things through new eyes, through your new lens, through the renewing of your mind through Christ, it's scary out here for so many people. People plan with their life. People think that they're going to live forever. They, they're going to be immortal in the flesh. They're going to be reincarnated back to the earth to, to have a, another chance, a second chance. Just all this crazy type of thinking that's of the devil. You know, the influence of all the celebrities, you know, when that song that Drake made, YOLO, You Only Live Once. So basically live it up in sin. It's like, dude, just leading, leading people to, to the slaughter, man, for real. And, you know, for these celebrities that sold they soul, you know, sold they soul, it's, it's so messed up for them because you have really traded your values and morals and have denounced God, blasphemed God all for money, all for material, all for metal, a car, you know, rubber, some, some shoes, some some watches, some, some chains, some... It's, it's all pointless. It's all meaningless. It's all stupid. Who? This car? Okay. You know, it's just... It's crazy. And you know, when you pick up your cross... It, it, life... Life becomes totally different. You know, God will give you his strength and his peace to overcome anything that you go through in this life. But... Like he said, your suffering is only but an hour. And your life is but a day. Because when you think about those who have come before you and those that will be here after you, your suffering is but an hour and your life is but a day. Because tomorrow is not promised to us. But we always go to sleep 
with safety with with the feeling of thinking that we're gonna wake up tomorrow you know anything can happen to you throughout the day you know just like y'all see it it's, it's people dying just as much as it's babies being born and no other god has promised you any promises or even has talked about your eternal soul or your eternity or redeeming you salvation any of that you got to look at the facts you got to really look at it you got to really hmm so why do i need a savior why what is sin and, and, and boy when you when you wake up and realize that you have been living in sin man you just want to hit your knees and praise god and just hit your knees and just cry out because boy i'm telling y'all i gotta show you i gotta share with y'all my testimony but i'm gonna just give y'all a little piece of it you know pretty much all my life up until you know this point when i was younger i always i always felt it was something more to me it was something bigger than me but i didn't know what it was you know, I used to always ask, what's my purpose? What am I here for? What's my gift? What's my gift? What's my gift? You know, and then when I uh, discovered my passion for cooking, and then I had a passion for makeup, I had a passion for doing nails. Um, come to realize, you know, I had a passion for being of service to other people. Even with you guys, you know, who watch my videos, who write me personally and stuff like that you know people are always asking me questions and I'm always answering them and yeah sometimes I think well I can create a course or I can do this and I can do that to generate money or you know this this that that but it's not it's not about the money for me you know we all would love money of course as far as you know uh because we need money in this life you know what I'm saying but the father always provides in in the ways that he provide you know and yes those are ways that he can provide is through 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 people you know but um anyway uh i always felt it was just something bigger than me than doing makeup or cooking or anything like that but i still didn't i didn't i didn't know uh i went to church a little bit growing up um my mom she wasn't she wasn't a believer let's just say that she wasn't rooted in christ she never really wanted to go to church or anything like that and same thing with my with my dad and uh basically i had to seek god on my own uh my grandmother she had her bible you know but never got a chance she she passed away um never got a chance to sit down and do like bible study with her or for her to just pour some wisdom into me my mom never really set me down and poured wisdom into me or my dad just poured wisdom into me uh i remember one of my aunts uh i was way way young i probably was like eight or something i remember she had these bible tapes they were cartoons and uh she used to play them and we used to have to do like a little essay or whatever me and my cousin and you know stuff like that sticks with you it's, it sticks with you and as I got older, you know, uh, fell into sin, of course. Fell into sin and um, strayed away. But it was times where I would reach out and try and find a church. Or I had uh, tried to join these girls from back home. They were trying to do a, a Bible thing. You know, I went to two of their events at their uh, mother's house. Um you know I, I i had been i had been seeking but it wasn't seeking wholeheartedly you know because the lord say to love him with all your heart and mind with basically with all your being you know get obsessed about god really search him out really seek his face really seek him and i wasn't doing that you know uh you allow distractions to come in and then when you're not in your bible you know the devil can always 
deceive you because you're not you don't have your full armor on as the lord says he said you know put on the full armor of god so when you're out here just in the world in your flesh you don't have on the armor of god so you can be devoured by the enemy but it's by the grace of god and god's plan that prevails over you know and by his grace i'm still here by his grace you guys are still here that's watching this video don't ever take god's grace just as it's nothing because life is a gift and to live long is a gift to truly see is a gift everything is a gift and god is so merciful because he can shut it down anytime just like with the hurricanes with the plagues just anything he can do to wipe us all out but god you know his love his mercy his grace is sufficient because none of us deserve to be here to be quite honest you know so don't forfeit salvation for this world you know that's why the lord say to crucify the flesh daily to die to the flesh because once you realize how heavy the flesh is and how nasty it is and you, you just want to come out of it you know the, the father say come out of her my people come out of babylon come out of the babylon system you know come out of what we the lies that we've been taught come out of the world come out of sin you know so we can truly ascend you know and it's so sad for everybody that's seeking something spiritual but it's still not getting filled because it's only one way it's only one way and that's jesus that's yeshua it's christ it's only one way he wouldn't say it if it wasn't true his word is valid and it shall not return to him void you know so when you try to seek spirituality when you try to seek peace through all these other ways and you still not feel you still not that 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 piece of you is still not filled you still truly don't have peace you still don't understand it's because you need christ you know when people have those shirts y'all need jesus i got one of those but it's 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 real it's it's not even trying to be funny or try to make you feel bad or nothing it's just truth man because you know when people look at christians when people look at people that really follow god it's something different about you and those that are filled with hate and with wrath they feel with the devil they hate you because they can see through you spiritually that you you know true light and you have true light you are on that path of, of righteousness you on that path of redemption you on that path of having your soul in eternity with the father you not you not going down you know say like how people would say you're not going down like the rest of us you know what i'm saying because when you truly wake up and have eyes to see through christ you you be looking at the world and people so differently but you still have love and compassion for them you know just as the father does jesus has so much compassion and love for people and he gives you so much time so much time for you to to get it to wake up to come to him to cry out to him to be serious to repent but for so many people you just don't do it but you get all the signs you get all the signs. You get a sign on the billboard. You get a message on the radio. You get somebody coming up to you asking you, hey, do you believe in Christ? Or, hey, uh, do you know Jesus? Or just anything that is trying to point you to the one true God. And you just keep denying him. And you know, in the end, the Lord say, you deny me, you deny the Father. So keep that in mind too, you know, for those of y'all that keep running, you keep denying the you keep denying the son, you denying the father. You can you cannot say that you believe in God and you don't believe in the son. You you can't. It don't work like that.
just like it don't work like when you when people say oh i believe in god but i don't believe in the bible what the bible is god's word it's his word if if you say that you believe in god or that you love god why wouldn't you read his word to come into understanding how, how do you believe god but you don't even know nothing about god because you read about god and learn about god through his word through seeking him you know and then for so many people that say well how, how can you just solely believe in the bible the, the bible has been manipulated it's been da -da 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 -da. yeah it has but when you read it you going through the holy spirit you gonna know you gonna know but the whole thing is god whether some books was taken out some words was switched up or mistranslated it's all god and god allowed for the bible to be uh some parts to be taken out y'all y'all gotta understand god is in control he's he's bigger than the enemy he's bigger than anything he plays both sides he has a divine plan and and what he wants from us is for us to accept his gift of salvation so we can be free from the enemy free from the chains of sin to believe in him to come back to him to keep his commandments to love him to obey him so we can be in heaven so we can inherit the new jerusalem so we can be a part of the thousand years of peace and 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 have and see streets of gold and be in our mansions, be in our glorified bodies. That's what he wants for us. He don't want us to go to hell. Because like I said in another video, hell is not just you burning up fire and brimstone, getting tortured for all eternity. It's, it's having a separation from God eternally. Because we all want peace, right? We all are seeking peace. But true peace comes from the Father. So if you have been cast off away from him, you will never have peace for eternity and that's something we still can't fathom we, we can say it we can say eternity but we still can't fathom it because we're human we can say oh i want to be with you forever but what is forever can you fathom that word forever that means it's no end eternity it has no end and no beginning it's it's no time you know so man God is good. Amen. God is good. He's he's so good, man. He's so good. But back to um you know, scripture being taken out and everything. You know, that's the mis that's the mystery part of God because when you when you follow God, when you walk with God, when you become a friend of God, he will reveal to you things. He will reveal to you secrets. You know, he will give you revelation. He will point you in a direction to those other books, those lost books. He will share with you so much. Just like with this earth, he wanted to share it with us because the earth was created before he created us. But he wanted to share it with us. How awesome is that? Come on now. But that's why he say, you know, seek me. Seek me. Study to show thyself approved. So if you truly love God and you you really seeking his face, like you you know ladies like when y'all when y'all trying to find something about the dude y'all talking to or y'all trying to find out if he cheating on you or who he talking to or whatever, you go on a full blown investigation. Okay, that's what God wants you to do for him. Be about God like how you be about these these men out here. Seek God like how you try and stalk him. In his profile and see who he talking to stalk God okay seek his face because you're supposed to be married to him first seek him he the one that can give you everlasting peace he the one that can rain down them blessings he the one that can save your soul hello so man <sighs> It just feels so good out here. I'm at the, uh, y'all see my background. I'm out here, you know, connecting while I can. <laughs> but man, um, I just wanted to share that with y'all because you just see so much beauty. You just see God's beauty in everything. 
you know, and everything just points to there is a God, there is a creator. And a lot of what I've been through, you know, God has just shown me that he's always been there. He, he, he care, he, he love, he love me and, you know, he's just amazing. And I can't wait to share with y'all more of my story, more of my journey and, um, these other videos that I want to uh, put out, that I'm going to put out and everything. But, um, yeah. God's grace is sufficient and you can come out of anything. You can come out of sin. You can come out of addiction. You can come out of uh, lesbianism. You can come out of being gay. You can come out of being addicted to porn. You can come out of alcohol being an alcoholic you can come out of anything any addiction any bondage you know i'm i'm free from a lot of things okay <laughs> i'm free from a lot of things so it's freedom in christ believe that accept that seek that okay but if you want to be free if you don't want to be free hey keep them chains on you then just know it's consequences and that's the thing about you know with free will you yes you can choose to worship whatever you want to worship you can choose to believe whatever you want to believe you can choose to do whatever you want to do but understand there's consequences to it all so hey that's that but um yeah to follow Christ you know, it's not an easy walk, but it's worth it, as the Lord says. Because to have your soul, your eternity secured in the Lord, in peace, in bliss, when you just keep your mind on things above, as the Lord say, like he said, your suffering is but an hour and your life is but a day. You may think life is so hard. What you're going through is so hard. It's so bad. But baby, I'm telling you. Your suffering is but an hour and your life is but a day. Because when it's all said and done, when you pass away, it's all over. It's all over. And the Lord said that he will not bring this to, to remembrance to your mind. But um, it's, it's, just, it's just amazing how how the lord is man y'all y'all gotta read y'all gotta seek the father man y'all gotta get this peace y'all gotta get this y'all gotta get y'all y'all glow you know y'all y'all gotta walk in the light and i'm gonna share with you guys real quickly um we were coming out of a, a grocery store and this guy he had a shirt on he said uh what did it say it said get your brain back it was like a medi meditation type of shirt. Uh, he started talking to Jay and uh, he told him that he was um, a yoga instructor or something. And you know, Jay was like, oh, okay, that's, that's cool. You know, and he was like, I like your spirit, man. And he said, oh yeah, it's Jesus. See, the Lord say, let, let men, let men glorify you. Let them exalt you so then you can give praise to your father in heaven. You know, I'm just paraphrasing, but that's not the first time somebody has said something like that to Jay or to all of us as a family, as a unit. Because to point things back to the creator, to the father, it just shows that, man, God is good and... It's all praises to the most high. Nothing is, is me. If somebody want to say, oh, girl, you do makeup so good. Oh, you man, you, you, you the best cook or you can cook so good, your food so good. All praises to the most high. It ain't me. Because I don't, you, you shouldn't let praises go to your head. No, it goes to God. Because first of all, God gave it to you. Whatever that, whatever you can do that's, that's that's your talent that's your gift you give honor and praise to god because he gave it to you you didn't give it to yourself you didn't wake yourself up come on now oh i felt that oh thank you spirit thank you holy spirit thank you mama thank you
Thank you, Father. He gave it to you. So it's it's like, how dare you take my praise? That's what Satan wanted to do. That's what Satan is doing. He's stealing God's praise. When you praise and worship things, you know, even with the trees or worshiping earth, that's not praising God. That's praising earth. That's praising the tree. God created it. He's the creator over it. You praise God, not the creation. But I didn't want to make this video 40 minutes. I see that I'm pressing 40 minutes. But overall, y'all, the message is having eyes to see. Checking yourself spiritually. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys that little bit of light, you know. So I'll see y'all later in my next video. So peace and love, y'all.